And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana Dragons. This is the other deck that we we're going to play the other day on Rank Up Sunday, but we ran out of time. Um, this is another uh, good deck. This is a deck that's definitely in the um, consideration for our third deck. Um, this was the last time that we played this deck was right whenever um, Shivana changed to to have Fury um, as the three four. Now this deck has gotten pretty popular now. So I'm I'm not sure I really want to play with how popular it's gotten, because um, y'all know me I don't I don't love playing the real popular stuff, but I I do think that Shivana with Fury is pretty awesome and so my version's a little different from other people's versions because I really like the fight spells I think the fight spells with the Furious Dragon is the way to go and so we're playing three single combat we're playing three strafing strike we're playing two concerted strike and we showed that off last time whenever we played this deck of how great. Sh shivana was with fight spells um and so that's that's kind of the, the goal of our deck i'm also still playing raiding guardian raiding guardian's really underrated all these people are playing these sun forgers and stuff these days i'm all about raiding guardian and with the tough and just lifesteal forever and not just one turn like the uh like the sun forger and then of course having all the fight spells to go along with raiding guardian is good as well with it having that tough so we'll see. We're, uh, I'm, I did put in two Guiding Touch that we didn't have last time that we played the deck. Um, I th don't remember exactly what we had over them. I think we had, thir I think we maybe just had, I think it was maybe just like three Eclipse Dragon, three Aurelian Soul. I think, oh no, 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 we had, uh, last time we had the, the, the six drop that I like and the eight drop that I like. We had one copy of Enviolus Vox and one copy of Infinite Mind Splitter. And both of those were good cards for us. Um, but we, yeah, we had one copy of each of those last time, but uh, we'll still have like the Egghead Researcher that can create the random dragons for us. Um, Eclipse Dragon can create some random dragons, but I want two Guiding Touch to help out against aggro and help heal our um, Shivana whenever it's fighting and stuff like that. All right, so let's let's go ahead and play some Shivana Dragons. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked. All right, see you, Cabo. Okay, our first deck is Lissandra Trundle. Again, to kind of reiterate, in case you weren't watching the other videos, today this is the deck that I will be banning. We will not, I am not, like whenever we play the seasonal tournament, I'm not gonna be playing against Frail Your Shadow Isles control decks. These are, uh, this is the deck I'm banning. So we'll see. Today, we are currently 13-2 and two today, and both of our losses are to these decks. One, one to Lissandra Trundle and one to Anivia. So, you know, we're still paired against it. We're still going to be playing against it here. Just, you know, practice, everything like that. But do not need to worry about playing this matchup in the future. Or at least in the seasonal tournament. Our hand's pretty bad too. We have our anti-aggro hand, two guiding touch, two radiant guardian. <laughs> We're playing exactly two of both of those cards. And we have <laughs> all of those in our hand. Not good. A very, very timely Herald of Dragons drawn. Shape the skies and mold the earth. Oh. 
They are nothing. So they go vengeance, I go concerted strike. Now I take to the sky. So I wasn't expecting that block. Probably means avalanche and maybe even two avalanches. Or no, I'm just playing another trundle. pillars they most they probably have Alessandra in hand we know that they have um... wow you know they have one champion in, in their hand I can only do 13 damage to a watcher. I will remind the world of power. So yeah, we are not going to be playing against this in the seasonal tournament. <laughs> this stuff is just ridiculous. Against those regions, 13 0 against everything else. I mean, Concerted plus buff wouldn't have helped. Uh, you know, like the. The plus three and then concerted doesn't kill this because watcher's eleven seventeen has seventeen health. We can do thirteen damage to it. Okay, twisted fate gangplank. This definitely looks like a dreadway uh, deck with probably funsmith dreadway. Probably what we got going on here. Don't need the other herald. We'll look at these two, hopefully find Shivana. Okay, we're Screeching Dragon. I'm gonna pass. Good pass. Go pass, go pass. Finger on the tree. I kind of think this trade isn't necessarily too bad for me. Go 
because it's better trading this than than just getting it killed by red card or by make it rain or you know like any of that kind of stuff yeah. Alright, so no Twisted Fate. At least they had Twisted Fate, they didn't want to play it. So let's turn on Plunder. Blocked. Definitely thought about blocking. So they have six cards. Three of them were my cards. Alright, so Power Monkey, not that big of a deal. Except, you know, like it levels up their Gangplank. But it's not. Um, not that big of a deal whenever I have. Um, challengers. The end of this world draws near. So now, like, basically both of these things would kill, I guess, just a normal Gangplank, not a leveled up Gangplank. We get four Powder Monkeys. And everything's vulnerable. Wow, what? Okay, I guess Judgment. Get judgmented. Eh? Alright, so that we've seen two cards that they've taken from me. So they took Egghead Researcher and Hush, but they that their Egghead Okay, and then Sharp Sight was the other one. Not bad, not bad. Um, so they also have a dragon that the Egghead Researcher made. It's cost five, three, three. We should still just be just fine. I don't... Like, unless they have, like, a bunch of burn spells to kill me. Someone just honked their horn outside for some reason. You know, like a honk of, like, tell, telling somebody else to come out. Stop. Open. Yep, so that's our plan. So now we're gonna have two radiants with concerted strike and strafing strike with the Justice with both radiants for next served. round. And 
Radiant Guardians should finish this out for us. They're not they're not just one time life steal, like four drop, what do you got hush, and then no more life steal. There we go, that'll do. All right, one on one. Yep, as long as it's not Frelly or Shadow Isles control. I don't know. All right, Tom Kench Soraka. Okay. Let's get rid of Hush and keep the others. You'll go in uh, turn three, Shivana. We do have to watch out. You know, we gotta watch out for Box to Plus. I was thinking that like Bastion could help save from uh, Tom Kench eating stuff, but maybe I should be Mulligan and Bastion as well. <laughs> I mean that that last game was was over, Scorpy. It wasn't it wasn't like an early concession by them. It was it was over. Can't quite play other Herald plus Shivana. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Caring for the stars shows their true potential. I can't wait to see them when they're all grown up. So attacking just lets. Gosh, I guess I just can't because I want to because of the whole zero out of twelve for leveling up Shivana, right? Make it four out of twelve, but it just you know they get to block with the Soraka and then they can attack and heal the the Soraka, which goes towards leveling up their champion, which then also gives the the Shepherd the plus two. If I kill you, I don't fortune. Kill it. I don't know. Be at peace. Take heart. I smell fear. All right, cool. Got the fury going. That's good. What's the fire? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. For silver I talk, for gold I taste them. Shroud the world in wings! So it could play... Play this Eclipse Dragon. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, 
He'll turn five Eclipse Dragon. If we just draw Rillian Soul, we could play Rillian Soul next turn. It's pretty easy to keep the 4-2 alive if I drag it. I think it makes more sense to have it where I can have... And see, there you go. Where I can have combat spells as well. Three, so it's about to be leveled up. You leave me no choice. We need another dragon. So our next dragon's gonna cost two less. And then it'll also have his draw card. in this thing. So you think if they'd have Pill Cascade, they would have just led with Pill Cascade and not led with Bastion, right? All the decks are always on Mobilitics immediately. If you want to check out the, the decks right now, they're on Mobilitics right there. Uh, these are going to be going to uh, um, YouTube in like two days. I'm a little behind on YouTube. The meme tier Mondays are going up today, and then the Sunday decks going up tomorrow. This, these, these will be up on YouTube in two days. I put... Yeah, I put everything up on YouTube. As far as like which decks go up on YouTube, they all do. Um, but sometimes I have I haven't been as good recently. At it's it's hard to upload four decks every single day, to be honest. And so I've been uploading three decks a day for a while, and so sometimes I just kind of skip over a deck to help out with the timing. I will be streaming the tournament live here, Sassin, if you want to watch me. I'm sure there's there's official coverages somewhere else, though, for the tournament. I'm not exactly sure where. Uh... Alright, so three, six, seven, eight. Okay. Do not test me. 
Yeah, I mean, I am sorry about it, Mervin. I mean, I, I wish I could upload four decks every single day. Like, I, I want to. Like, I really want to do that. It's 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 hard working that much. It's easier to upload three videos a day. Basically, I do one video in the morning before I stream, then I stream, then I do one video immediately after stream, um, after taking care of the dogs and getting some food, and then I do another video. And then I relax in the evening, and then at night, I'll, I'll uh, do the third video at night. It's hard to do a fourth one, so it's like I have to do like two at night or two in the morning. I feel like I'm supposed to use the strafing strike. Let's get rid of the spell shield. From the skies. Take heart. Pablo's been down. Let his knee out. I'm kind of wasting that. Let's go with this. No, because then the healing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, they had another Bastion. I guess I could have done both Strafing Strikes at the same time to protect against that. Which I should have done, I suppose. But that's okay. Trading a Strafing Strike for a Bastion isn't necessarily the worst trade for me. You leave me no choice. Woo, you wee scruff! Take heart. Live with purpose. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so most other YouTubers just only do one at most during a day. Remember, this is this is like my only income, and YouTube is most of my income, and so it's you know it's I'm only getting seventy five percent of my income if I only do three videos instead of four, basically. And so it, you know, I'm also you know needing to pay rent and everything. It's just it's tough. Well, not rent, but mortgage. I have a mortgage, not rent, but still. Same thing. Okay. There we go. Two and one, staying undefeated against the non Trellior Shadow Isles decks. So that's a that's a main reason why I feel bad is because <laughs> Marty, you know, kind of struggling anyway, and then I'm not working as really as hard as I possibly can, I guess. But it's it, yeah, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. Today, yeah, we've had two amazing days with with these for sure. We had. Um, last season, yeah, I think it was last season, we had a, a two-day stretch where I, out of seven decks, we won 33 out of 34 games. Um, which is, all right, so another Thresh Nasus. This is definitely a good one to test against, because this is one that I'm, I'm not planning on banning this deck. So I really like uh, testing to see how we do here in this matchup. 
I could see Radi Radiant Guardian being really good for this matchup. But we'd want like a, a cheaper unit that we'd be able to have die. I'm going to just kind of play on the safe side of mulliganing it and look for cheaper stuff to begin with. Because yeah, so we had five five O's and a four one, and then we started four O in the next one before losing that. We'll have turn two Herald, turn three Shivana. The skies darken with their approach. Preservarium. That's a preservarium too much. You don't see hapless aristocrat too much. Don't have the mana uh, for Black Spear right now. So I think this is a safe block. What's up, boo? Come at you live from work. But we have been doing great today, man. Look at our records. We are. Uh, oh, that's that's gonna be another win, I guess. <laughs> Their hand must not have been very good. I don't know about that Preservarium thing. Uh, so what are we, 16 and 3 on the day? And all three losses were to the same kind of style of deck, Freljord Shadow Isles. That, um, so in these tournaments, like we're going to be playing a uh, seasonal tournament this weekend. And in these tournaments, your opponents play three decks. And out of those three decks, you can ban one of the decks. And if my opponent's playing Shadow Isles, Freljord Control, um, like if they're playing one of those control decks, that's what I'm going to be banning. Like that's what I usually kind of struggle with more against. So like those are all three of our losses. So like that's those are decks I won't be playing at all against in the tournament. So we're 16 and 0 against everything else. <laughs> we're 0 and 3 against that, 16 and 0 against everything else. <laughs> no perfect curve, can't play. They, uh, they can't, cause, so with the with the decks, you can only have, uh, with a with a region pairing, you can only have one deck of a region pairing. So you can't play Anivia Control and Lissandra Trundle both, because they like with the same regions. Um, so you, you can't do it. You can't just play like you know multiple decks of the same region pairing. What's our rank? One thirty eight. Did we go? Have we gone three and one and gone down? Were we at like one twenty? Maybe not. Oh, thanks, Mervin. All right, Shivana Dragons. All right, let's finish this up with a, a nice four one. Probably Fluffy Cake. All right, so Fluffy Cake asks, do you think that playing such a wide breadth of decks improves your play skill? Maybe, and it, it kind of also improves like your just knowledge of the format, I think. But um, yeah, so I, I could I could see that. Um, but you're you're definitely gonna you're not gonna have as many wins and losses. Uh, like you're not your record's not going to be as good when you play a huge variety of decks because you're going to have like some some decks that aren't going to be as good right like when you play if you just play only the best deck or two or three best decks that you're best at you're going to have a higher win rate than playing everything 
Um... All right, let's hold in those two. And... I'm gonna hopefully draw Shivana. All right, we're gonna flex on him. Attack for zero. Harold will die. But that's kind of cool. Like, you know, Harold does take up removal. See? Eats a good removal spell. So that's good. Raven's looking good. They have Rummage. They get to just discard those Spinning Axes and draw new cards. Some treasure is a Rummage attached to a 4-3. Big Screeching Dragon. So this is yes, yeah, so this is our last game of the day for this. But then we're gonna play some bonus stream after this. We'll we'll uh, play some extra games for bonus because we hit our sub goal today. Um, so I'll probably be on for about forty to fifty more minutes. Okay, let's challenge this. So I could see them playing like Scorched Earth to kill my Screeching Dragon. In which case I would use Guiding Touch to be able to heal it. Radiant Guardian's always good in this matchup. Which one am I blocking? Four three doesn't have quick attack. Because they would have, if they have, you know, three, you know, get excited plus Mystic Shot, then kills it for free. I guess at that point, then I just can use single combat though. Yeah, get a Mystic Shot plus Flock. So I think it's Screeching Dragon. Or so, so sorry, <laughs> that's Screeching Dragon. I think it's Scorched Earth. 
uh, you know, Scorch Earth slash Noxion Guillotine. I think that's what they want to use to kill the dragon. So many some treasures, and those some treasures are great because they they're all three mana, four three plus draw a card. So that is good. All right, so guillotine. Come here. So they can get more things damaged, and then guillotine. I mean, it's, they're in, I mean, this is definitely 50-50. This could go either way. This is not looking grim for anybody right now. Like, if, because Noxion Guillotine can just completely wreck my board if they have Noxion Guillotine. And, like, these are really good attackers. Like, this, if they have that card, we're in a lot of trouble. Because, like, right now, they could, like, flock the Radiant Guardian, Guillotine, kill both of these. Yeah, I think Guillotine's better than Scorch Earth in this metagame. There's not as many uh, landmarks. There's, there's just not very many landmarks. Like, the main landmark you probably want to kill with Scorch Earth is, like, the Scar Grounds. So single combating over here in order to level up Shivana so Shivana doesn't die. Well, pretty good. I was at least hoping that that was going to be Guillotine. Come hither, you beast so that I didn't, you know, like, waste all the, you know, so they wouldn't get, like, the extra Guillotines, but it was just Scorched Earth. Strafing strike. Why couldn't I have had you last turn? Um, yeah, Hush doesn't Hush doesn't heal. The prophecies ring true. Yeah, so they're looking good now. Right, it sets it to the base stats, but remember, with the Screeching Dragon with all the Furies, the base stats were pretty high, wasn't it? Well, I guess? I guess the, the Fury would go away. Wow. Well, this is just bad. Okay. Well... Probably fight with this thing to heal. And then hush the Screeching Dragon so it can block. You know, it won't be doing all of its fury stuff anymore. Ashes and stardust.
this this is pretty awesome. Triple Stomp Dredger, triple Arachnoid Sentry. Like that, these both these cards were great here, and having all th three of both of them. Yeah, I take that back. They're looking bad for them, yeah. Looks very bad for me right now. They even have more cards in hand still than I do. They just drew Ravenous Flock. Because if they had it last turn, they would have just used it last turn, you would think. But maybe they wanted the Ezreal in play first. GG's. So. It took a lot of great stuff for us to finally lose a game to not fail your Shadow Isles. Last game of the day. Um, but yeah, that was perfect, you know, right? Like the Draven made the Draven made three spinning axes, so the four threes each got to discard a spinning axe to draw a card. Those three stuns uh, were perfect, and yeah, then having having the Ezreal and everything. And then <laughs> all the burn spells. So yeah, that, that could be a, a match that we could lose, um, you know, if that kind of stuff happens, just like that. All right, so yeah, at least it wasn't, wasn't Frelly or Chad Wiles, though. Um... So the question here was why not add one Zoe, and we definitely could. You know, like there was, uh, it was a decision. Like I just kind of get got rid of the. I was kind of planning on going three Eclipse Dragon, three Aurelian Soul, but then I just got rid of them to put in the Egghead Researchers, kind of right before we played and then played the games. I hadn't really thought about putting in a Zoe, but yeah, we could play. We could play one Zoe. It'd probably be over an Egghead Researcher. It could be that slot though. You could just play a Zoe instead, which will probably make sense. Zoe's most likely going to do more for us than an egghead researcher so uh yeah i think that would be a good upgrade to the deck um yeah i think that would make sense yeah that would make sense all right, so yeah, so we'll do we'll do that for for next time. So this is another again another good deck. So so far with our seasonal tournament, we've d determined we are definitely going to be playing Sejuani Overwhelm, uh, probably the Renekton version, and we're definitely going to be playing Jarvan Shen. And so the la the third deck um, is a question mark there between um, the Azir Nasus. Just go Mono Shirima with the Sun Disk, which I really like that deck. That's why I really want to play that. May not be the best, but I really like it. 
Um, so either so we, I'm basically choosing between three things: either that, or this deck, the Shivana Dragons, or um, uh, or playing like Zoe plus uh, Heimerdinger plus maybe a Victor. Um, just basically PNZ and Targon control and having hush and removal spells and things like that and, and uh, all the celestials and all that kind of good stuff. Because I'm, I'm planning on, of course, I'm planning on banning the uh, Shadow Isles Freljord deck, so expecting a lot of you know, mid-range and aggro. And so what are we going to do well with against mid-range and aggro? All right, but this one was pretty good here. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the list um, here for Shivana Dragons. And out of those three options, which one do you like the most? Which one would you recommend me, me playing? Um, yeah, I would love to see those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Shivana Dragons. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.